Welcome to Physics Learning. This is the second video on regulated power supply. In the previous video on regulated power supply, I have discussed how we can use Jenner diode as a voltage regulator. In this video, I am going to discuss what are the disadvantages of using Jenner diode as a voltage regulator and we will see how we can design a series regulated power supply using transistor and Jenner diode. Let's see, this is the simple circuit of how we can use Jenner diode as shunt voltage regulator. We just need to connect the Jenner diode in reverse bias configuration and in parallel with the load and we can simply construct a voltage regulator. If you want to know the detail about this voltage regulator, you can just watch the previous video. Now let's discuss certain major disadvantages of Jenner diode as voltage regulator. The very first one is output voltage is not adjustable because the output voltage in the case of voltage regulator when we use Jenner diode then output voltage will be equals to the voltage of Jenner voltage. Second, regulator cannot be used for large load current. Why? If we increase the load current then there is large amount of power wastage in Jenner resistance as well as in series resistance compared to the load power. Also, the output voltage in the voltage regulated circuit will increase slowly with the increase in input voltage because Jenner resistance itself change due to change in the current. Okay. Apart from these, there are certain more disadvantages like voltage regulation is not much efficient. So move on to the series regulated power supply. This is the simple circuit diagram how we can use transistor and Jenner diode to construct a regulated power supply. We need two transistors T1, T2, a potentiometer and a Jenner diode. Okay, these elements are connected across the load in this configuration. Okay. Now the question is how this uh, circuit is working as a regulator. Let's discuss the principle of this regulation. Okay if you look at this circuit carefully here you will find out a voltage drop beta v0 uh, which is consist of vr plus vbe which is the base emitter voltage across the transistor t1 okay what is v0 v0 is output voltage so we can say beta v0 is fraction of some output voltage which we can get across a potentiometer p Initially what we need to do, we need to adjust this potentiometer such that beta V0 is approximately equals to Vr. We try to make it as close as possible. Now if you look at the circuit again, then this beta V0 minus Vr is the voltage drop across the base emitter junction of transistor T1. So this base emitter voltage gets amplified through the amplifier circuit which is consist of transistor T1 and this resistance R1. Now from the circuit it is very simple. We can say that this amplified voltage is applied across the base of transistor T2. Now the understanding of the principle is very simple. Consider that by some mean there is an increase in voltage V0 that is increase in output voltage V0. Then look at this flow diagram. When V0 will increase, then beta V0 will also increase. As a result, from the equation number 1, VBE will increase. So as the voltage drop across the transistor T1, that is the base emitter junction, across the base emitter junction, as there is an increase in base emitter junction voltage, there will be increase in collector current. Okay, As this collector current will pass through the resistance R1, there will be increase in the voltage drop across R1. As voltage drop across R1 increases, it will decrease the forward bias of the base emitter junction in transistor T2, which is obvious from this part of the circuit. Okay. As the forward bias of base emitter junction of T2 is decreases, it will decrease the emitter current in the transistor T1. As this emitter current is passing through the load, it will decrease the voltage drop across the load. So that's how initial increase in the output voltage will get reduced and voltage will stabilized okay similar thing will happen if there is a decrease in output voltage v0 it will decrease vbe which will decrease the collector current in turn decrease the voltage drop across r1 which will increase the forward bias of the base emitter junction and increase the emitter current 
then it will increase the overall voltage. So that's how the output voltage is always remains constant irrespective of there is change in input voltage or there is change in current. Okay. Now, what is the advantage of this series regulator? Can we able to rectify some of the disadvantage of the Jenner diode as a voltage regulator? You can look at this picture again and we know beta V0 is equals to Vr plus Vbe. From here, we can just write V0 as 1 by beta Vr plus Vb. What is beta? Let's say the upper and lower part of the resistance in the potentiometer is R3 and R4. Then you can easily calculate the beta, which will be equals to R4 by R3 plus R4. And hence, you just substitute it here and look at the expression for output voltage. If you change R3 and R4, then you can change the output voltage. That means by adjusting the potentiometer, we can vary the output voltage. So we can adjust regulated voltage, okay, which we cannot do in the general diode as a voltage regulator. Okay, so hope it is clear to you. So see you in the next lecture with some other topic. Till then, thank you.